Now, the rich cultural diversity of the African continent has often inspired artists in and outside of the continent. Others have found inspiration in the chef of Africa. There was Thierry Coire takes us to the studio of Lewis Flanders in the state of Virginia. Check it out. In a small workshop in Norfolk, Virginia, Lewis Flanders to find a design in the shape of Africa since leaving the U.S. military in 2016. Flanders to has built a mixed media collection that outlined the continent in table in my, in and bookshelves, so just, kitchen I'm, cutting boards, serving trays, and sculptures. First, we pour the epoxy resin on it um, in the, like the silver uh, clear color. And before it's dry, we put the glass stones on it just to give it a different effect. And it kind of makes it look, you know, natural and earthy. I was known for building some, some smaller items out of wood. So a few people asked me to make um, some things in the shape of Africa. And then I got the idea to cater to a people who don't have something represented in a home from where they're from. Flanders say his heart had led to questions about where he's from and how African Americans share their pride in African culture. Well, people first ask if, you know, what my race is and why I'm doing this. And um, some people are friendly and some people are, are a little defensive, you know, trying to see if I'm just trying to capitalize on someone else's culture, but it is of my culture. Um, I am of mixed race. And, um, uh, Flanders' uh, work combines individually to, mixed to, color, to color and the latest computer head machinery to execute his designs, including his signature bookshelf. The Africa bookshelf design is my um, largest item, it's what I'm most known for. It was to represent Africa in a different light that the world doesn't like to show it. Um, it represents the history of Africa, the true education of Africa, and, um, and, and every, you know what came from that continent. Flanders says selling his product online allows him to reach a wider audience and do enough business to make a living as an artist inspired by the African continent. Thierry Keore for VOA News, Norfolk, Virginia.